Hey, Liz. Come on, you can't pretend I don't exist. We dated for a year. We were gonna lose our virginity to each other. Now I'll never lose it. Treble bother! What is it? My fancy dress slippers. I left them in my office. So go get them and meet me at Suri's wedding. No. When I was fired, I vowed on the snipe's name I would never set foot in there again. Also, Kevin Insecurity has a picture of me. So what? You want me to go get your tuxedo shoes? See? Our minds are already one, as our bodies soon shall be. There's the address. Of course, you work in insurance. Specializing in the transportation industry fulfills my boyhood passion for train accidents. Fine, I'll go get your shoes. Farewell, my luscious plum. Oh, son of a... Why is your face like that? I have to go back into space, Liz. I hope you enjoyed the kissing followed by my genuine interest in that TV dance competition. Bye, astronaut Mike Dexter. <sighs> Liz, snap out of it. Jenna's locked herself in her dressing room. What? No, go away. This is my fantasy, Pete. I knew it. You're blonde in your fantasies. It looks terrible. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Maybe a couple photos where you don't give the thumbs up. No, that's my thing, dummy. You know what? Doesn't matter. Just getting through the week. You know, it's all really happening for me. My people, my city, my woman. Huh? I tell you, everything is starting to go my way, Liz, because I'm a man of action, yeah? I gotta stop overthinking everything like I used to. That was never your problem. Elizabeth Sarah Lemon? That's not my middle name. Will you marry me? Oh, God. Wake up, dummy. Hey, space cadet, down here. Did you marry me or what? No, no way! No. You, you don't know this guy, he is not the man you think he is! Hey, what is your problem, Liz? I could get any girl here I want, and not just the fatties and the butterfaces. Shut up, crowd, I command you as the subway hero. Shut up! Hey, you know, I don't need this. You know, a stripper offered to give me a squeezer last night? A white stripper. Oh, thank God I didn't fall for this. You are not a hero. You're a loser, and you will always be a loser. Oh, I'm the loser. I guess I'm the one who totally missed catching the puck at that Islanders game. You suck. No, you suck. And so do all New York-based sports teams. Liz, don't say anything you can't take back. You know, I don't see it on the menu, but I would love a catfish po' boy and a diet raspberry Fanta. Oh, that is a great idea. Let me order that for you. Excuse me. We will have a turkey burger deluxe and a catfish po' boy with a diet raspberry Fanta. I'm gonna come back in five minutes. You try to order off the menu again, I will smack those glasses off your face. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What was that? Why didn't she call you sweetheart? And where's the complimentary app sampler? What's going on? Okay, Drew, this is how most people live. See, because of your whole, you know, Disney Prince thing. Actually, they used footage of me from my high school swim team to draw Prince Eric. Right. Because of that, you live in a bubble where people do what you want and tell you what you want to hear. Oh, I don't think that's true. Drew, I'm going to tell you this for your own good. You can't put Gatorade on salmon. Oh, yes, you can. The hot Italian lady from the Food Network told me so. Did she say it on TV? No, she said it to me when she jumped escalators to try to talk. Oh. Well, I don't want to live that way. I don't want you to treat me that way. Are you sure? Yeah, Liz, I'm an adult. You can be honest with me, I can take it. That's game, you're served. That's it, I quit. This racket is a fart and you, you cheat. You're a cheating bitch. Liz. James. Wow, you look great. Is Jenna here? No, Jenna and I broke up actually. We both decided it was time to be happy. Me too. I'm saying yes to life. OK.
Let's do this. Hey, you got home late. Yeah, I, um... Randy, this is James Franco and our friend, Kimiko Tan. Hey, Randy. I'm gonna go to the bus station. I think that's for the best. <sighs> Gavin, this was wonderful. I really enjoyed watching MTV Canada with you. Yeah. They can't seem to get anything right up there, can they? I hope you'll come back. Maybe next weekend? I'd like that. Me too. Well, I should go. Do you have everything? Do you have your cell phone? Oh, um, no. Oh. Nerds, where is it? Oh, uh, there it is in the other room. Carl, could you get Liz's cell phone for her so I can say a proper goodbye? Thanks, buddy. Anyway, I just... We don't have much time, Liz. What? Look, Liz, I've decided I can trust you, so I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not really an eccentric agoraphobe. I just tell people that so they won't know I'm under house arrest for tax fraud and arson. Ah, the wind must have blown it shut, Carl. I I'm searching for the key. Carl's a U.S. Marshal. Come, before they shoot. I thought Derek was upstairs. I miscounted the men, Liz. Girlfriend, Oprah was right. People just want to be together and get free stuff. I didn't really have to bring this. Oh my God, Tracy! Oh. Oh my God. I was looking for my phone in your purse. I wasn't trying to steal anything, you racist. It was an accident. Floyd, Floyd. Liz, what are you doing here? I don't want your car to explode, and I don't want you to go into a coma, and I don't want to stab you in the face with a giant fork. What? Well, that's not you. I've been threatening a lot of people lately. Look, Liz, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened. You know, are, are we at the part where we just become friends again? I, I came to the airport, didn't I? And I, I wolfed my teamster sub for you. Wait, no. Is that a saying? Yeah, don't worry about it. This guy makes badushas. They're like an Indian donut. They're amazing. Mucheado badusha jahir. Careful, buddy. It's hot. Are you trying to pick me up to keep me from touching fire? Kiss me. Wait a minute. When you first met me, did you think I was a child? Yes, I did, sir. Unbelievable. I knew I should have listened to my friends. Kofi said you were too good to be true. Not, huh? Told me to wait three days before I called you. And yet, here we are. Is anything even going to happen between us tonight? No. But, but not because of your size. It's because I have a thing about intimacy. I'm the weird one. I'm weirder than you. How am I weird? You're not. That came out wrong. You came out wrong. Oh, and I lied about your show. I have seen it. Be careful crossing the... We've been offered a gate. What? What are you doing back here? Come on, let's go. Oh, we'll go. We'll go back to the terminal. In the lounge with the reclining chairs and the turkey wraps. Turkey wraps. And we'll forget any of this ever happened. Like the fact that you insulted me in front of my entire crew, especially Stuart, who often makes up hurtful nicknames for me, like Mr. Bumpy Landing. Great. And I'll forget the fact that you treated us like animals. Oh, well, I've already forgotten that you said I was bad at my job. When everything on TGS has been so great recently, Austin Powers on Crossfire. Timely stuff. Uh-huh. And I'm not even going to ask what the hell that voice is that you use on the intercom. Oh, folks, half an hour means forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you what I hate about you? You're so stubborn when you think you're right, even when the answer is on the Trivial Pursuit card. The card was wrong. And you're no better, Carol. You built that bookshelf incorrectly. I did not. I wanted the books to slide off. OK, listen, Liz, we will get through this. If, for once, you can just let it go, I will take us back to the gate when you stand up in front of my crew and my passengers and admit that you were wrong. What? Admit that I, as captain of this vessel, was in the right. You were wrong to question me, and I was correct in my treatment of you and your fellow animals. I'd rather die on this plane. 
That can be arranged. And will you be exchanging rings? Tito was a drug dealer the police shot in the face in Riverside Park, where we first met. It's perfect. Do you take this lady as your wife? I do. Do you take this I lady? do. But you see, said Rourke quietly, I've chosen the work I want to do. And I can find joy only if I do my work in the best way possible to me. By the authority vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, love Hi. came just in time. I found you just in time. You changed my lonely life. That lovely day. Oh, my lip is caught on the girl. Ow, ow.